Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about Abhinda or daily oil massages according to Ayurveda. We will talk about who should do Abhinda, why you should do Abhinda, when you should do Abhinda, what materials you will need for doing Abhinda, what precautions you need to take for doing Abhinda and how to do Abhinda. We will talk about all that in this video. Ayurveda talks about Abhyanga as Abhyangam Ajaret Nityam. That means every single day of your life you should do Abhyanga. It is good for improving complexion, it is good for improving skin health and it is also good for improving your flexibility and mobility of your joints and it is important to make sure that you don't age faster. It reduces the pace in which you age. So overall, Abhyanga is something to be done every day. Now talking about Abhyanga, what are the best things to use for Abhyanga? So the best oil that can be used for Abhyanga is organic black sesame oil. Black sesame oil is available in different forms and different varieties, but make sure that you get the best quality ones. The darkest dark ones are the best quality ones and these are not cheap it's very expensive to get organic black sesame oil if you find a good source you can definitely try that i will post a link below where you can buy my organic black sesame oil which i make in my home so in my home we give organic black sesame seeds to the mill and get it made into an oil and we use it for preparing medicines for for daily cooking and also for abhyanga and you can also try it and it is also the ingredient the same oil we use it as a base for the glow oil hair oil and all the other oils that we make in the clinic so coming back to abhyanga how to do abhyanga abhyanga first and foremost you have to understand that there are certain areas that ayurveda mentions that you have to do or give more importance when you do abhyanga and these are the mandatory areas that you should do abhyanga which is your head definitely the top of the head here and then you have to massage your palms massage the feet massage your navel massage your ears massage your face these are the primary areas you need to do massages in addition you can do massages to the rest of the body especially your joints because your joints are the areas where vata accumulation happens that means in your joints, if you see, it is always one or two bones joined together and there is an area, there is a cavity, there is a fluid. Whenever there is movement, vata increases. Vata is the air element. Whenever there is dryness, vata increases. So, vata involvement is more in the joints. Hence, you have to use oil for your joints. So, if you uh, apply oil to your joints every day, it is as good as using a lubricant in a car or a machine where you know it functions faster it functions better and it stays for a long time the longevity of that machine or that car is longer when you use the right amount of lubricants and oil so in the same way in our joints also we have to use the oil to massage our joints especially because these are the areas where vata can be triggered hence applying oil on your joints and in your joints you can do rounded movements so the first thing you need to do when you do abhyanga is take oil in your palms and then put it here this is the area this area or brekma is the area where you have to apply oil first after applying a little bit of oil on the brekma you can work your fingers on your scalp and massage the scalp if you wish you can massage the length of the hair if you don't want then you can skip that part secondly massage your face then massage your hands massage your feet and then do the rest of the body massaging the joints should be in rounded movements while you can use longer longitudinal movements in the other parts of the body always when you massage ideally if you are massaging the legs it is important to massage in the upward direction towards the heart because you want the blood flow towards the heart hence these are the simple things that you can do and one more kind of movement i'll tell you in your hands if you are doing uh, massages do it in folded movements like this that will help with uh, massaging the the long bones the, your hands and your legs now coming to when to do abhyanga abhyanga can be done in the morning or in the evening based on your convenience however 
the ideal time to do abhyanga is definitely in the morning when you do abhyanga in the morning when the sun is out there after you apply oil in your body if you can spend just a little bit amount of time outside in the sun your body can absorb that vitamin d especially if you are using sesame oil for massaging your body who should do abhyanga actually every single person should do abhyanga whether you are vata prakriti who is the lean and thin body type whether you are the pitta prakriti who is the medium body type who type who has most of heat issues or the kapha prakriti when it is kapha prakriti when the body is a little obese or overweight and you can do oil massages but you cannot you can apply oil but massages should be avoided another thing if you are extremely obese say your bmi is about 32 or 35 then it is better not to use any oil for massages because then that can increase the kapha in your body but if you are just overweight or just maybe 30 is your bmi you can always use oil but don't massage but apply it on your skin what you should do after abhyanga so after you have massaged your body with oil ideally if you can spend the next 5 10 minutes just like that just leaving that oil on your body that is the best thing to do but if you have if you don't have time you can directly take a shower and shower after abhyanga should always be with hot water or warm water warm water is ideal for the body and cold water or room temperature water not cold cold water but room temperature water is ideal for the head when you are taking shower you can use herbal bath powders like the one that i have mentioned in the link below or you can use your own herbal bath powder which you can make with uh, ingredients like green gram flower or basil flower or you can even use bilva powder all of these mixed together and you can make your own herbal bath powder the one which i make in my home i have put it in the link you can get it from there this is how you should wash off the oil after abhyanga if you have extremely dry skin that continuously feels dry throughout the day then after getting out from shower you can use a little bit of oil to moisturize your skin how this helps is because this oil when it combines with a little bit of moisture turns into an emulsion and that helps to stay retain that oil for a little longer hope you like this video subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you